Hello. This video is all about learning to cook the Idoma traditional okosu from the RBA students. Now, we are going to be doing it in a very practical way. Okosu and pounded yam. As you can see, we have the yam which is going to be cooked and pounded and be used with the okosu. soup. Now these are the ingredients. We have the yam, which of course you know what we are using it for already. We have the oko stem for the soup, okwe, melon grinded with crayfish, dried fish, meat, or you can use the boat depending on what you have. Seasonal, salt, and pepper. Ingredients are listed with pictures at the end of the video. As you can see, the students teach us how to cook her with the Oko soup. First, they start by making the local coal pot fire. We want it to be as local as possible. That's why we are going for coal pots rather than kerosene stove or a gas cooker. So as to make it as practical as possible for the students and those of you that want to learn how to cook it. Some of the cooking utensils needed are pots, spoon to stir, clean broom, mortar to pound, cook pots for eat, bowl, sieve, and knife. You can see the mortar with the spoon to stir, with the pestle in it. Then we have the broom. You can see that the broom is not the one you use for your normal household curls. This has to be a special broom that is dedicated for cooking and cooking alone. First, peel the yam, cut into pieces, put in a clean pot, put on a different fire before proceeding with the soup. Make sure you cut it in such a way that it will cook quickly. Put it on the fire as you can see. Add water to be at the same level with the yam that is in it, then cover. Next, use the pestle to eat the oko stem to be able to cut them into pieces of straight strands. This will be told to you later the reason why we are doing this. Next, move on to pump the fresh pepper and okay it together before adding to the pot of water on the fire for the soup. By now you should have added water on the fire, just water. Now, add the okay pounded with pepper inside the water, allow to be boiling, then Wash and the dried fish with warm water before putting it into the mixture, which should be boiling by then. You can put it a whole or you can decide to pieces it, depending on how you want it. But we have chosen to leave it almost a whole in this video. As you can see, she's washing it to get rid of any dirt that might have hooked onto the fishes before it got here from the market. As you can see the, the mixture is boiling and she just put the fish, the ope and the pepper is already there. She is adding water to increase the quantity, seeing that the water she has added to it before might not be enough depending on the ingredient she has added. It is now time to add your seasoning. Use any one of your choice. Also, add your salt to taste at this point. Almost all the ingredients have gone in. Almost all the ingredients have gone in. You leave your mixture on the fire. You can see it's boiling rigorously. Then, stir the boiling mixture on the fire from time to time. This will aid the mixture to mix well while boiling and avoid anything from burning. Stir from time to time. Do not forget your soup on the fire. It is a very fast soup. 
Now, cut the Oko stem into strands, as you can see. Tie it into a bunch. Put in a pot containing little water. Then put on the fire and allow to boil for some time. You can see, he has put it into the fire. The bunch is in the fire with little water. That will be enough to mix with the slimy fluid that will be coming out of the Oko stem. After it has boiled, when you notice that the Oko stem in the pot is very slimy, bring down the pot and begin to press the hot stem to squeeze out the slimy fluid. That is what we'll need to pour in the mixture that is on the fire. Make sure you squeeze very well to bring out the slimy fluid. It can be a little bit hot, but be careful with it. Now, you can see the soup on the fire. Now, go back to the pot of soup. Squeeze the melon until it begins to form a ball shape and bring out oil. Remember the melon part of the ingredient, grinded with crayfish. Now go back to the pot of soup. You, um, you cut it into balls and add to the mixture, now boiling rigorously. As you can see, she is rolling them into balls, one after the other, adding them into the soup. This is the melon cake, known as the Ichangi by the Idomas. This is a common soup among the Idomas and the Igalas. Now, allow to boil for some time. After you might have added your Ichani and everything is set now, allow to boil for some time so that it can cook very well. Then, begin to squeeze out the slimy fluid from the Oko stem. Go back to the Oko stem and start squeezing out the slimy fluid from the stem. This is what you are going to need to pour into the soup. Now, you may decide to pick out the sticks that will be in the fluid one by one or you just filter. You sieve it using the sieve we mentioned earlier. Then, pour the Oko fluid and begin to stir, either with a clean broom never used for sweeping just for cooking remember this broom is just for cooking it is very neat and it cannot be used for any other purpose or you can use a spoon as you wish whichsoever one you decide to use to stir your mixture very well to make sure that the okos mixes together. Do not forget to remove the fish, meat, melon cake, ichani, and any other thing that may scatter while you are stirring the soup. Your soup is now ready to be served. Notice how to fetch it because of its slimy nature. The plate needs to be below the rim of the pot so that you can cut it with a spoon when you fetch it. Hmm, yummy yummy. This is delicious. Now you can go back to your yam that must be done by now. Pound the yam after it has cooked properly. After it has cooked properly, pound the yam. And now it is time to enjoy a cold soup and pounded yam. Very delicious and nutritious indeed. Now notice the skill in cutting the soup because of its slimy nature. If not, you end up staining your clothes on the table. You use your finger to press it when you bring it up to cut the soup. That is how it is enjoyed. It is a very beautiful delicacy. I hope you try it. Follow our steps and you will be able to prepare very delicious Oko soup with all the mouth-watering effects of this nutritious soup. You can see the fish, the chani, the oko soup. The contestants are showing what they have prepared. These are the pots of soup that are being prepared by the various contestants. These are students teaching us how to cook the oko soup. It's a very legendary soup among the Idoma people, the Igala people, and some other parts of Nigerian 
and some tribe also eat it. Ingredients used are yam, okor stem, fish, okwe, locust bean. You can see the okor stem. That is the okor stem. Look at the fish. We are using dried fish here. Yeah? Dried fish. Dried fish. You can decide to use meat if you wish. You can even decide to use smoked fish, depending on your pocket and your choice at that time. This is your pay, the locust bean. We've done a video earlier on on this channel on how to make okwe which is a traditional seasonal common among the Idoma. The Yorubas have their own, they call it Iru. We have the Iru, Iru, Iru Pete and so on. Then you can see the fresh pepper. You can use either fresh pepper or grinded pepper, depending on the one you want. This is the grinded melon, which is being used to make the melon cake or Ichani as it is popularly known among the Doma people. From the steps of preparing it, you know the use of this now. Then we have the seasonal. For the seasonal, you can use any one of your choice. The one you have, you have been using to cook other soup. Provided if it is for soup, you can decide to use it. Then we have the salt to taste. Thanks for watching this video. Really appreciate your time. But grand music by Godwin Samuel and the Bow Creel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.